A brand new Battle Royale game just came out on the Epic Games Store. It's named Grit. And today we're going to be delving deep on my personal first experience playing Grit and really getting to know everything in between. This is classy. There's a lot to cover here. A lot of big old alpha for people playing for the first time. So not sponsored, by the way. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, Grit is a wild, wild west battle royale game. If you've ever thought of games like Red Dead Redemption and just felt like you wished there was a battle royale component where you could just go against dozens, if not hundreds of people in a single map well grit is literally going to be your game if you've ever felt the experience of PUBG when it first came out and you were looking for that wild wild west experience grit is your game this game is available on the epic game store right now literally came out yesterday and I'm gonna check it out because a lot of people were asking me for it to better showcase the game I was actually invited by the president of blockchain to play some grit with them and to say the least the experience is pretty good for me I don't know about him Oh, you did get clever in turn. Oh, yes! Oh, die! Oh, was that you? Yes! Oh, well okay, okay, done. One down, one down. There are four different game modes on Grid, and you should know this because they differ in strategy greatly. Those are Train Chase, Crown of Coronado, the Golden Horse, and the default game mode, which is just regular calamity now you're wondering what the calamity is it's a storm if you've ever played a battle royale game it just closes down over time and it forces people to get into altercations now in terms of each game mode train chase is a game mode where the zone the calamity goes ahead and closes in on one random train on the map something cool about trains in this game that i found out is they have railroad signals all around and if you actually shoot them with your gun they change in color they'll go from green they'll go to red and the train will actually go to a different direction so you can in essence guide whatever train you want into wherever you want it to go something else is trains tend to have gold loot which is some of the best loot in the game so if you're looking to get a decked out and if you're looking to see the equivalent of a care package there are three trains on the map and do feel free to go ahead and get on there in terms of train chase strategy it's pretty simple you can either get on the train or you can chase it with a horse there are several weapons that are very good on train chase and those typically speaking are rapid fire rifles or shotguns if you're trying to get close range the best shotgun in the game right now is the outlaw and in terms of rapid fire rifles you could go for either the Cavalier or the Marauder for my personal choices. Another strategy for train chase in this specific game mode is that you can hop onto other trains and go ahead and just camp out. This is a feature in the game right now and you can yourself heal yourself to victory. <laughs> so that is something very interesting in train chase that is very unique to just train chase. Second game mode is Crown of Coronado, where the person wearing the crown goes ahead and controls the crown. A good strategy for this game mode is, of course, picking up the crown and going to the edges of the zone to force people out of town. This is actually a really interesting strategy I often use in my games, where people will be camping out in towns doing nothing, and I'll just go ahead and run to the middle of a desert, pull the zone to the desert, force them to come out, get a, you know, a high angle and just destroy them there. The zone actually works in a different way in this game mode, where as long as you're holding the crown, you're pretty much immune to all zone damage. So if you're afraid of someone hopping on a train and being immune and just defeating you, well, as long as you have the crown, then you should be perfectly fine. The last game mode is the golden horse. This is very similar to the crown of Coronado, where the person that is riding the golden horse controls where the zone goes. This is more of a faster game mode and does tend to have more hectic endings if you're looking forward to winning a game mode like this one typically speaking you're going to need to have a rapid fire rifle and a shotgun to be able to actually close the distance and get the kills last one is the regular default mode which i mean we've all played battle royale games so i don't think i need to explain that one but pretty much zone closes in on a specific point on the map eventually it gets there people fight each other to get there uh, something important that you should probably note is always stack up on bandages always stack up on repair boxes because this repairs your armor and don't fight people when you don't have armor because this is just something people keep doing in these games make sure you reload your weapons you don't start the game with your weapons reloaded in terms of the things that i learned about grit there's a couple cool components of this game that kind of differ from the traditional battle royale genre 
The first one is rarity doesn't work in the way you think it does. An ace is the highest rarity in the entire grid ecosystem. They're those orange weapons where you find and they look beautiful. They're like, oh my God, their ancients are so cool. The only advantage an ace has over a 10, which is the lowest rarity in the game, is stability. It doesn't do more damage. There's no difference in speed. It's literally like if you wanted an easier gun to aim with, you should probably be aiming with an ace. Now, the same can actually be said uh, with armor. Armor. armor is actually much better when you have it at higher rarities so it is important to take advantage of that another really big component which i feel like people aren't really taking advantage right now is the actual suit perks now if you haven't noticed there are few suits in the game these suits can offer you certain perks with every gun having a unique suit it's really important that you actually get into the game and don't just pick up random guns there are certain strategies for example picking up hearts that give you faster healing or maybe more health Health for your horse or maybe even you just don't want to do that and you want to get health by killing people and you want four heart weapons this is why weapons in this game have a really unique mechanic which i think is pretty sick and something you should be thinking about every single time you pick up a weapon there's also another really cool thing about this game and that's called soul coins now soul coins no it's not some weird crypto term it's literally a part of the game when you hop onto the game there are some zones that you walk up to it and you gotta make a deal you give up a soul coin and you get something in return you can get some of the best loadouts in the game if you've ever thought of warzone call of duty and you know putting that care package out there to get your loadout it's a very similar concept and i think it's really cool because whenever you kill someone you get a soul coin and you go from there this game also has a gulag ask feature where whenever you die if it's early enough in the game you can actually go ahead and fight for a second chance if you win you get back in the game if you die well you die another interesting uh, thing about the game is the fact that well for one all horses have these same exact speeds uh in the original build for grid i'd notice horses were a bit differing in speeds and health and all these different things uh they just made it even across the board the horse play in this game is nuts i mean it's so cool to be going around in horses and shooting people and doing trick shots with snipers all over the place in a wild west a battle royale theme i honestly haven't seen a single game out there uh, that is doing exactly what grit is doing in the wild west genre it's really cool uh, to see that more more battle royale games are still coming out in this era fortnite is still extremely successful everybody's still playing warzone and imagine the hype is gonna be here uh if you want to check out the game it's literally free i played it i didn't have to spend anything and that's how gaming should be you should be able to play games and if you want to support them with stuff you can in terms of microtransactions which i think is something to note they do actually have battle passes they have a bunch of cosmetic only stuff you can go ahead and get i do think they're selling gunslinger boxes on their store as well if you have an nft gunslinger you actually get coins from a larger pool so there are incentives to have it but nonetheless they don't offer any inherent in-game advantage so another cool thing about great is that you can actually earn gala by playing the game so gala is a token in the cryptocurrency space uh you get these victory points for playing the game so if you've ever wanted to like earn money while playing a battle royale game you're, you're not gonna like earn thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars or whatever but like if you just wanted an excuse to get into a space and get something out of it for being one of the top three in every game you get the stuff like called victory points and based on that they give you gala tokens i got like 30 gala tokens the other day i think it's worth like a dollar or something like that but it's still something to note nonetheless imagine you play like a thousand of these games it could definitely add up in the long term if you haven't already checked out gala games well this is your time they're the publishers of grid and they have a catalog of pretty much 50 different games that they're planning on releasing very soon of course grit is one of the ones that they've just released and they've got many more in store so if you want to go ahead make your free gala games account we do of course have a link for you in the description links.gala.com slash classy crypto go check it out and so i hope you enjoyed this video this is my review of grit i think it's pretty awesome i'm gonna give it right now i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 i like the concept I do think some of the stuff is still buggy. It is a full launch, so do check it out in the Epic Game Store. With that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay classy, and that's all.